Alright, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, today in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use VLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel. So, in Microsoft Excel, let's say, let's look at the table that I have first. So, I have a list of product, a product code, quantity and price. So, let's say I want to focus, let's say I want to sort uh, the type of product that I want and to display the price that I want uh, for that product. For example, let's say I want to know what is the price for watch. Let's say I, I, in for, for the short table like this, it should be easy to look for the, for the original table. But if you have a very long data set, right, a big data set, so it's hard to, to find the price of the product or quantity of the product or the product code. Right, so the function of VLOOKUP stands for vertical lookup. Right, so the function start with equal reference and the function VLOOKUP. Right, and then if you look at the explanation uh, for VLOOKUP, the first argument should be input is VLOOKUP value, the value that we want to look up. So this is the value watch that we want to one Excel to look up into this table. So comma, so the table array. So I want Excel to look up the word watch in this table, right? And then comma and column index number. So I want uh, what the what is the value that uh, you want Excel to return? So let's say in this case, I want Excel once the excel already find the word uh, watch in this table i want excel to search for price and return price into my column or cell so in this case the first column is called uh, product second quantity third and price is number four so i want uh, excel to return the value on column number four and then comma it has a uh, two option here true means uh, prosimate match and uh, false is exact match so in this case we're going to sh we are we're going to look at uh, exact match since the the value that we want excel to search is not a number all right so we need to use ex uh, exact match exact match is false false it should be equal to zero right or you can type false as well right uh, or, or simply you can type zero lah. Uh, better you type false for exact match and then hit enter and then you can see now excel already search uh, watch uh, price for watch for you let's say you change it to laptop and then you can see it automatically change the value it going to search for the price for laptop right so let's say we want to do some manipulation, right? For example, I want I want Excel to find the the price for camera. So I just use VLOOKUP, and the the word that I want Excel to search is camera, and the, from the table, this table, find the word camera from this table, and return me the the value of price. Price is uh, the, on the fourth column this is the first column second column third fourth so fourth column and false exact match right so it will return the word uh, the value or uh, the price value for cameras so if you can look into the table the camera is is 2539.32 right let's say it's same concept for units let's say for example if we look up so I want Excel to search word camera from this table, right? And then return me the, the value, quantity value on uh, camera. So quantity is, this is the first column, second, third. So quantity on the third column and I'll put exact match. So for, for time being, we, we look into exact match. Later on, we will uh, look into uh, approximate match so it will return us the quantity for camera so let's say 
if I want to find the total price, right? So I just use a relate, basic relative uh, function. Uh, so B6 multiply with quant units. So it will get uh, 88,000. Let's say I change this to currency. So it will become a currency price. Lah. This is also should be in a currency format. All right. Okay. That's all for I exact match. Let's say, uh, let's say you have a lot of uh, thing that you want to sort in let's say this is only one let's say you want to sort in more than one right for example the first one is camera so v lookup camera search from this table right and then display price price is on column number four and false right and you need also same as uh, previous. Let's say V lookup uh, camera search from this table and display my unit force. Force is stand for exact match. So as uh, previously we have done, if you want to find for the uh, subsequent rows, you just highlight and you just drag and drop this one right but if you can see mobile phone it return an a why did this happen this happened because if you can double click for the first uh, formula it uh, correctly select our table but for the second formula it it, it kind of a uh, moving and the, the table are selecting from uh, watch to the next uh, uh, rows means that it's moving table so now what we need to do is to fix the table array so how to fix a table array we just click on a5 and hit f4 and same goes to for d12 we hit f4 right? and click uh, hit enter and then do the same process again right right we just drag and drop right so it should be okay right same goes to a uh, unique so we just hit f4 to fix up the table array and hit enter and then now we drag and drop you should get the same uh, value for this one so let's say we want to get the total price total uh, uh, sales for today let's say we use a relative reference price multiply with unit right so hit enter and drag and drop this one okay so now we need to change it to a, a currency format this one currency format this is also a currency format right okay right now let's say um, we just want to have one uh, uh, column right one row but we want to interchangeably uh, select uh, instead of typing cameras or change it to perfume right so manually change we want to do a, a thing like this we have want to have a drop down so if i change to perfumes we will change to perfume i'll change to camera camera i don't need to type one by one so how to do this let's say i clear the the content first now so first what i need to do is i just select the cell and go to data right and then i need to go for data validation so data validation click on the drop down and click on data validation so now in this uh, tab if you can see the setting tab validation criteria allow you just click on drop, drop down choose list right choose list from the drop down choose list and then for source you just select the product name the product name and then we will get the drop down menu right let's say choose the same concept you you just use the same concept we look up 
and then search for shoes in this table right for price is column number four and then false right so it is written shoes is equal to 150.20 right you need so same for v lookup change for uh, look for shoes from this table right and unit is column number three and false right and total is a uh, price multiply with unit right so right, what you need to do is to highlight these two called cell and right click click on format cell uh, click on currency and change to ringgit so it will change to ringgit now instead of typing one by one right so i'm using a data validation right by in, uh, in introducing the uh, drop down menu so i can change from a drop down menu it will automatically search in the excel uh, the the term that we want all right so okay okay now let's look at the next uh, topic in uh, VLOOKUP right just now we already look at into exact match so there are some term uh, some uh, argument on the last uh, last argument on the VLOOKUP function which is a approximate match approximate match so approximate match only apply for numbers right either in sort numbers that's already been sorted in ascending order or descending order so how we, uh, we look at recognize value for commission let's say we have a sales value right so the sales value is zero uh, the category is fair and the commission paid is zero if the sales amount is two thousand and uh, the commission paid is 40 uh, 40 ringgit so what happened here if the sales amount is between 0 to 2000 right 0 to 2000 it will you will have a zero commission right this is by logic right so if we have a sales amount from 2000 to 3000 your 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 commission should be at uh, 40 ringgit 3000 to 5000 200 ringgit 5000 to 10000 500 ringgit Five ten thousand and above should be uh, one thousand five hundred ringgit, right? So now, uh, let's say we have we want to see the sales for two thousand, right? Let's say we are still using uh, we want to display the commission receive. So we use a review lookup, right? So we want to find sales for two thousand in this table, right? I want Excel to display me to return me the amount of commission paid. So commission paid is on column number one, two, three. Column number three, right? Instead of uh, uh, in earlier uh, demonstration, I show you to uh, to put false for exact match for the last argument. In this case, we are putting true for approximate match so it will display 40 ringgit this is for exact right let's say we have 2000 sales amount it will give us 40 ringgit uh, commission paid what if we have 2500 it will still 40 ringgit let's say we have 450 ringgit so the commission will receive zero let's say we have 4500 ringgit you will receive 200 ringgit commission because it still lies between 3000 to 5000 let's say you have 15000 ring uh, sales amount you should have 1500 ringgit commission of right so this is how the approximate match works but it only applies for numbers we cannot search for um uh, word right so i hope that's uh, i think that's all for vlookup but before i forgot there are some uh, function that we can mix uh, make a mix into vlookup for example 
let's say uh, the word cameras here let's say i accidentally put a space here if you can see here i have a space instead of camera without space now camera with space right now what happened the excel cannot the normal uh, vlookup function cannot identify uh, the word that we want to find because in original table there are no space on camera but here we have space one space so if we are uh, accidentally uh, did that the safest way the safe safe way to overcome this uh, this situation is to input trim trim function inside the word that we want to find right if you put trim function then it will automatically uh, find the value same goes to uh, you need you need to put trim function trim function means that it will trim any extra uh, white space mean or oh, if you have a blank space or space uh, after or before the word that we want to find inside the uh, inside the original table it will rectify for you let's say we back to the original one it will still same let's say we put a double space also same it will rectify the white space and um, make it correct right i think that's all for uh, for vlookup thank you very much assalamu alaikum